Hello and welcome back to another local walk and today we have started our walk in the little village of Kreich. I've done a few local walks around here during lockdown and today we've got a completely new one. It's a circular walk which starts in the Kreich village and it takes us to Wingfield Manor House which is going to be uh, interesting to check out and from there we walk up to the Kreich Memorial Tower which I've shown you before in a previous video and as you can probably tell by what I'm wearing and the colour of the sky we are back with the classic British winter weather it's freezing cold, a little bit windy and no sun at all <laughs> which is a big change from uh, last weekend where we had gorgeous sunshine and it was probably about 10 to 12 degrees and it was just gorgeous weather but at least it's not raining and we can still get out and explore the local area and like I said we're heading towards Wingfield Manor House now and when we get there I'll uh, tell you some information about it so it looks like a really interesting place from the photos I've seen of it and Crouch has definitely been one of our favourite places uh, to start a walk from during this lockdown it's just a few minutes away from Belper which is where we live and it's got a brilliant bakery which I've mentioned before in a, a couple of videos so definitely go check that out if you're in the area and we're going to head towards the uh, manor house now and I'll catch up with you there So as you can see behind me, we've just made it to Wingfield Manor House. And the house was built in 1440 by Ralph Lord Cromwell and he was the uh, treasurer of England at the time. And the house has been used for various things over the years and owned by many different people. And at one point, Mary Queen of Scots was actually imprisoned here. And she wasn't just imprisoned here once, she was imprisoned here three times. In 1569, 1584 and 1585 and she was imprisoned here by the Earl of Shrewsbury. I'm not sure why but she was <laughs> and the building has actually been abandoned since 1770 and it's just uh, been left here and it's owned by the English Heritage now and I think you can go look around it on some days but I'm not 100% certain you can probably have a look on the English Heritage website and there'll be more information on it but it's a stunning building and I know you can get around the other side and see a bit more there's a really tall tower which you can't see in this part of the house but um it goes right around the back there's much more to it than what i'm showing you right now and uh yeah if you're in the area i really recommend coming look at it it's really cool and we're going to carry on with the walk now where we'll head back towards Kreich, and uh, we're going to head up towards the memorial tower which i've shown you before but there should be a nice view up from up there today although it's very grey and cloudy it's quite clear and you get a really nice view of the house from down here actually so you can see over here, that's where we were stood and you can only see that part of the house but from here you can see the whole back part and you can really see how big it is from here. It's incredible really that it's still standing like that from considering it's been abandoned for 200 plus years.
So we've made it up to Crouch Memorial Tower now, and it was a long way up from the manor house all the way up here, but definitely worth it for the uh, the views. That's the Peak District behind me. And you can see seven different counties from up here on a uh, clear day. It's a beautiful view. And the memorial is for the Sherwood Foresters Regiment. I've already done a video uh, where I go into a bit more depth about the memorial tower. So I'll, uh, I'll leave a little link up in the top right corner for you to click on if you're interested. But yeah, it was for the Sherwood Foresters Regiment from World War One and World War Two, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful up here. It's a perfect uh, position for it. We've done so many walks during lockdown where we can see the tower. It's in a really nice position uh, so that lots of people can see it. So anyway, we're going to head back down towards Crouch now. Uh, maybe pop in the bakery, which I've uh, talked about quite a lot in my videos before. The Loaf Bakery. It's a really good bakery. And one last thing, if you did want to go in the tower, remember to bring a little bit of uh, money because you have to put a little uh, donation in the do donation box, which is really good. So yeah, we're going to head back down towards Crouch now and I'll catch up with you back there. So we made it back to Crouch and it was really busy there so I just uh, thought I'd do the outro back at the house. I hope you enjoyed the video, the walk was gorgeous today, I really recommend it. It was 10 kilometres long so about 6ish miles and I hope you're all managing to get out and still explore your local areas and if you're like me you're probably running out of uh, places to walk. I think this might be one of my last uh, local walk videos, I think I've got one more planned which is a bit of a special one so uh, stick around for that if you want to see that. I've also made a playlist with all of my local walks that I've done during lockdown. So if you live in the area or you know, you're visiting the area after lockdown, you can go check them out if you're looking for some uh, different walks to do in the Amber Valley area, Belper area, Crouch, etc. And it's not long now until we can go explore a bit further, get into the Peak District, get to places like Kinder, which I cannot wait for. And I've got some really big plans uh, for, for when we can explore a bit further. I think I might do a video talking about uh, the kind of future of this channel and some of the challenges I'm going to set myself uh, to do in the Peak District and some of the kind of longer walks, wild camps, etc. that I'm going to do. So if you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're liking the videos I'm uh, putting up on my YouTube channel and you want to see more, Click that subscribe button, it really helped me out. I'm nearly at 100 subscribers, which, I mean, I can't actually believe that I'm saying that after two months, I thought I'd be on about 10 subscribers. So uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed and shown support to the channel, it really means a lot. And I'll uh, see you in the next one, cheers.